Hi felters and welcome. So in today's video we're just going to look at if you've been felting a while should you still be doing kits? Are you still going to learn something? So I decided to get Lennon the Llama kit from World of Wool. I've had it for about six months and we're going to go through it. Obviously I'm not going to show you all of it because the designs belong to World of Wool and this is Cindy Lou Thompson who's got two fabulous books out um, from Chicken Creations. So um, do look at, have a look at her books if you like the style of this kit. So this is Lennon the Llama going through these are all the uh, wools that you get though that's for the eye color that's for the leg color that's for the eyes again it always amazes me they give me tons of wool for the eyes but anyway this is the wire from world of wool i'm going to use my own you'll see in other videos i've done i don't find the wire strong enough and you get needles and you get a lovely big mat which is really good it's a nice size to work on and that's one of the other needles so you get two size needles but i'm going to use my own mat and my own needles because I have been felting for about five years now. So I'm going to replace the wires. I'm just, these wires have been cut to length by World of Wool. So that's really great. So I'm just going to replace them with a one mil craft wire that's galvanized, that's nice and strong. Um, if you use their green wire, unless they've changed it, I just find it's not quite strong enough. So here I am doing the wire armature. I've added a little bit of tape and I'm also going to add just a couple of things um, of my own because I've been felting a while that I know makes my life a little bit easier. So I'm taping the legs so they stay in position um, along the top and then I've put pipe cleaners over all of the body because I happen to have them and they wrap around and they just really help with the wool. So I've also got videos on wire armature that will help you out too. So do have a look at my playlist. So here I am just wrapping the wool. This is just trying to get the wool on nice and thin this is i'm sure this is probably their cheviot slithers that they supply in the kit which are great for wrapping things like legs nice and thin sometimes i even uh halve the slithers again to get that nice thinness just to get the first layer on um Something that does happen is I do run out of core wool a bit further on and I have done that quite a few times with some of their kits but I'm hoping that if you've been felting a while and you're taking on a kit this is I would say not a beginner kit because of the wire armature um, I would say you probably have some core wool around yourself or any wools that you don't want or don't like or, or aren't going to use you just put them on the inside of the body so here we are building up the body and then here we are building it up quite a bit more. So it seems it's quite a quick step in the booklet. It actually took me quite a while to build up all of the shapes. So do take your time over this. Um, don't rush it. And I've actually done one leg. I kind of do things in my own order. Um, I like to get all the legs done first and then move on to the head. So I've done one leg following her instructions. Going on to the head, I did find the instructions very good. I do recommend actually reading what is written underneath them. Sometimes I kind of just assume I know what I'm doing. But if you actually read the instructions, um, you will learn things. And I will at the end sort of go through a couple of the things that I did learn um, and why I do think it's good that we still keep doing kits. So I've done the eye and then we're just going around and doing the mouth. Um, I used a slightly different colour. I have to say for the hooves, I had a darker grey than the one supplied in the kit and I thought it looked a bit better. So you can make adjustments. Um, and here we are doing the eye. So this is the eyeball. And normally I use glass eyes. So I do find it's quite good to push myself and do eyes in the way that is done in the booklet. So I've done three of the legs and we're just going to go through one of the legs together. So again, we've done the thin wrapping. And now we're just going to wrap another layer and then we're going to do the knee and the pastern, which the pastern is like the ankle bit, the lower down bit. So don't, the key with legs is less is more, okay? You only need a tiny bit. Um, and I'm just attaching the, the knee bit on there and then we're going down and I've attached a little bit for the, the lower half of the leg. And then the hoof we're going to do and they show you how to split the hooves so that's really good um interesting technique then we go on to the ears um i have no problem with ears i find them quite straightforward i'm just building up the layer and the shape so it's the right thickness and then i do use um 
not an iron, you know, flattening tongs on the ears uh, to make them straighteners, hair straighteners. There we go. Um, to make them a lot thinner. I think it really, really helps. I have a video on using heat in your needle felting. So we put a lot of colour on the inside, a lot of shading. I did find this ear was slightly bigger than the other ear and I wasn't going to be able to felt it down. Sometimes you can felt it down. So I did trim a little bit of the side of it off. This is how I like to straighten the edge of the ears between anything like two bits of cardboard would be fine. And then you don't poke your fingers. But here we are. I definitely knew that I couldn't get this down. So I just trim it off and then you felt it in. It's very, very easy. Needle felting is very forgiving. And even then they weren't perfectly um, identical. But once you put a fold in, it's they're pretty much OK. And then I just put a little light covering on the back because some of the grey had come through. So a very sort of light covering of the white and see that I've done the front one there. So I'm just using the straighteners. These are mini straighteners and I keep them down in the office now. Um, really, really easy. They get really hot, though. Do be careful and flatten them out. Doesn't take long, but I really think it's worth doing. Definitely worth doing with ears. Um, and then we'll fold them in half and attach them on. Now, this is doing the coat and obviously I'm not going to tell you. Um, the method because it's um, created design to World of Wool but it was a different method I'd never used it before so it was really really good for me to try this because I do do a lot of coats with long hair and there's the llama with the ears on so there we go so these are all the wools I had left but obviously I did run out of core wool that's the only thing I ran out of loads of coat wool there and here's the llama and I'm really pleased actually I I think this llama came out quite well. I could have done the face a bit better. Cindy's face is so much better and her legs are better. But I was really happy with it. So did I learn stuff even five years in? Absolutely I did. I learned how to do a new coat. I learned a directional way to do the legs. I learned how to do the eyes. So I do recommend still doing good quality kits. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've got Romeo Rabbit here, which was another World of Wool kit. So I'll meet you over there. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you again soon.